Prince Harry has been given the go-ahead to take the publishers of the Daily Mail to trial over claims of unlawful information gathering. A high court judge ruled on Friday that the Duke of Sussex, Sir Elton John and Baroness Doreen Lawrence can continue their legal action against Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL, despite the publisher's bid to have the case thrown out. The trio are among a group of high-profile individuals, including David Furnish, Sadie Frost, Liz Hurley and Sir Simon Hughes, who have accused ANL of allegedly carrying out or commissioning unlawful activities such as hiring private investigators to place listening devices inside cars, blagging private records and accessing and recording private phone conversations. At a hearing in March, the publisher firmly denied the allegations and asked the judge to rule in its favor without a trial, arguing the legal challenges were brought far too late. But a judge refused to throw out the case. Harry's case against ANL is just one of six cases H has brought against the media in recent months, here express. Co.uk takes a look at the other cases. Point one. Harry vs. Publishers of the Daily Mail Prince Harry is one of seven high-profile individuals bringing legal action against the publisher of the Daily Mail over allegations it carried out or commissioned unlawful information gathering. Two. Harry vs. Publishers of the The Sun The Duke of Sussex is suing the publisher of The Sun newspaper and the now-defunct News of the World alongside actor Hugh Grant over alleged unlawful information gathering. He claims he was targeted by journalists and private investigators working for the papers. A ruling earlier this year said the case could go to trial except for any allegations relating to phone hacking. The case is set to go to trial in January 2025.3. Harry vs. MGN in June Harry made history when he appeared in the witness box in his case against Mirror Group newspapers, MGN. He alleges its journalists were linked to voicemail interception, securing information through deception and hiring private investigators for unlawful activities. Other celebrities including former Coronation Street actress Nikki Sanderson, made similar claims. At the seven-week trial, MGN largely contested the claims and denied that any of the articles complained of resulted from unlawful interception of voicemail. A ruling is expected at a later date. An MGN spokesperson said, Where historical wrongdoing has taken place, we have made admissions, take full responsibility and apologize unreservedly, but we will vigorously defend against allegations of wrongdoing where our journalists acted lawfully. MGN is now part of a very different company. We are committed to acting with integrity and our objective in this trial is to allow both the business and our journalists to move forward from events that took place many years ago. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online. Advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial for Harry vs Home Office The judge granted Harry permission to pursue legal action against the Home Office over security arrangements for himself and his family when they are in the UK. He is challenging a February 2020 decision that said he would not be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting and will instead be considered on a case by case basis. A date for a full hearing is yet to be set. Point five. Harry vs. Home Office Harry is bringing a second case against the Home Office over a decision that he is not allowed to pay privately for security when in the UK. A High Court judge rejected his bid to challenge the decision in May 6. Harry vs. Mail on Sunday Harry is suing ANL for libel over a February 2022 Mail on Sunday article about his legal battle with the Home Office. In July 2022 a judge found that parts of the article were defamatory, concluding that they gave the reader the impression Harry was intentionally attempting to mislead the public. In March a preliminary hearing took place, where the Duke's lawyers refuted ANL's, honest opinion, defense. A ruling is expected this year.